What is going on YouTube? It is time to start customizing these cars for the 1000 subscriber giveaway. If you guys didn't see it in the previous video, I'm going to be customizing every single car in this Detroit Muscle set and then figuring out some way to give it to one lucky subscriber. So, no better place to start than with number one. And let's start working on this 67 Camaro. Nineteen sixty seven Chevy Camaro. Gotta love these Camaros. Really like this casting. Not a huge fan of the paint, but I can appreciate the metal flake in there. That is kind of cool. But I think I can make it a lot better. Definitely gonna do a wheel swap. Uh, yeah, we'll see what else. I think I have a cool idea for it. Not going to involve any decals, so we'll see how that works out, and should be fun. Let's get this thing all taken apart. I've used my 964 drill bit to drill out the posts, and this is ready to take apart. There we go. It's all taken apart. Before I start putting some citrus strip on here and stripping the paint, I'm going to sand down this clear coat quite a bit as these brand new Hot Wheels, the clear coat is kind of tough for the citrus strip to get through and it'll just speed up the process quite a bit. And I'm not going to be using these wheels, so let's go ahead and get them out of there. What I do, I just use this little pick, get underneath them, and they come right out. Most of the time they come right out. Works a lot better on plastic frames like this one. If this is a metal frame, good luck getting any wheels out of them. They are a pain to get out. I've gotten a few wheels out of some metal bases, and it took wire cutters and all kinds of stuff, so... Anyway, there we go. Let's get this build underway. To scuff up this clear coat, I'm just using some cheap dollar store sandpaper. I think this one is 240 grit, so it's pretty aggressive. But that is what I'm going for. You're, you're not going to mess up any of the casting right now anyway by going over this with a pretty aggressive sandpaper all i'm trying to do is cut through that clear coat a little bit to help the citrus strip get in there and penetrate the paint and so it can start lifting it off the car i've used the citrus strip on some newer cars without taking this step and it has taken a really really long time the citrus strip to get through there and start uh, taking that paint off. I think that's good enough for now. Time to get the citrus strip on there. To apply the citrus strip, I just use a small brush. I kind of smaller the better. I think a smaller brush helps get the citrus strip down into the little details of the car. But uh, you definitely don't want to use an expensive brush for this because the citrus strip will ruin it eventually. So if you're going over and buying 30, 40, 50 dollar brushes, this is not the job for it. This is a 25 cent dollar store brush. Looks like we've got a really good coat on there. Time to just sit back and let the citrus strip do its job. It is looking mighty nasty, so it is time to get this green paint off there. The citrus strip worked really quickly, and I'm sure sanding it helped out quite a bit. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Time to go wash it in some warm soapy water. And go over it with some steel wool and get all that paint off there. 
All the paint is gone, and this is what I'm left with. A few casting issues. You can see here, there's kind of like a little bubble was in there or something. I'm going to have to spend some time with that. And try and get this body squared away. It's also a little, I don't know, it's like a little divot or something right there. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to take care of that, but I'm going to try. Other than that, casting is not in bad shape. There are a few little mold issues and seems to file down a little bit but once they're taken care of we'll be ready for primer I went over the car with some Krylon primer and then I went over it with the Krylon aluminum cover max metallic paint and turned out pretty well she's looking pretty good so far Love this Duplicolor metal cast paint, but we aren't quite done yet. So let's keep working away at this thing. I figured this would be a good time to use that new airbrush I got, so I went over it with the Createx Wicked Jet Black, and I really like how it came out. I think it is time to get some tires under this thing, so I went ahead and Painted the base, which I still need a little touch-up work to do on there. But uh, for the most part, it's pretty much ready to go. I want to put some tires on there. And today, going with some monoblock tires. I love these things. So to use these monoblock wheels, it's pretty simple. Crush one in, just like that. Slide the tire on. Make sure it's facing out. In just like that put your other tire on make sure it's facing out the other way slide that on and you're good to go so these are going to go in the back so to measure pull them through pull them as tight as I can and then trim them off as close to the base as I can get just like that pull it out and crush this end and just like that all right i think it is finally time to put this all back together so i got my base all painted up it's looking all good got the mono block wheels on there that looked pretty awesome I went with the blacked out eight spoke wheels for these and it'll be riding on some Michelin tires and it actually rolls pretty well. I don't think it'll win any races but I sprayed the grill with the Kratex Wicked Black and went over the back also need to fix up those taillights a little bit but uh, I'll work on that a little bit later. So anyway, time to get this all put back together and see how it all turned out. As usual, using the 2x56 button head screws to hold everything in place. Not going super tight with these, just enough to keep it together. All right. Now it is time for the moment of truth. Let's see how this all turned out. Oh, shoot. Holy cow. Check that out. This thing turned out really, really nice. Check out that black paint. Not too bad. 
Not too bad for a first time airbrusher. But holy cow. I think the wheels on there look pretty sweet. Oh man, I am really pleased with this one. So this will be the first car in the Detroit Muscle giveaway. I think the next car up will be the 68 Nova. So there you go. Let's take a few photos of this, see it up close, and see how it see how it looks. So the more I look at the car, I kind of notice that the edge between the black and the blue wasn't quite as sharp as I wanted it to be. And I couldn't figure out why this happened. When I put the tape down, I pressed it down, made sure the edge was secured on there as tight as it could be, and just couldn't really figure it out. And then I looked at the roll of tape that I used, and apparently I had set it down on the workbench, and it collected a bunch of dirt and grit and grime on the edges of it. So when I taped it down, that grime and everything was on the edge of the tape, and didn't let the tape secure to the car as well as it should have and created kind of a ragged little edge there but uh, looks like I'm gonna have to get some new tape so there's a decent chance that I will repaint this but uh, overall though besides that I think everything else turned out really nice and I do like the way it looks the 1967 Chevy Camaro is a car that is near and dear to my heart I've had the opportunity to own two of these in my lifetime, both of which when I was a much younger man, but they were both great cars. I had a blast with both of them. Neither one was a show car or anything like that. They were definitely drivers, and uh, I had to wrench on them a little bit to uh, make sure they got down the road, but uh, that's what it's all about, man. These muscle cars, keeping them on the road, and there was nothing better than hearing that 327 open up and rip a light but anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and we will see you on the next one